Hello, I am Simfogel. Today we are covering Latias is November 2021 event missions. For these missions, you have to complete Latias Part 3 with 9 sync pairs or less, and your teams must include 3 Kalos, Gym Leader, and Fairy Team Skills. We will do all missions in the same run. The biggest thread in this fight is a passive called Fluid Fortification. Basically, stat races increase Latias' resilience to damage. When Latias has 10 positive net buffs, you cannot hurt Latias at all. You will deal 0 damage. A net buff is the sum of Latias' star races minus her current debuffs. Unless you have a sync pair with piercing blows, this is something you cannot ignore. You have to bring a wide array of debuffs to counter fluid fortification. Besides that, Latias starts the fight with a couple partners. You should take them out as quickly as you can because they can use strong moves like Earthquake and Hyper Beam. Latias herself is very adept at debuffing. She will attempt to debuff your defenses and your accuracy. Lastly, in the middle of the fight, Latias changes her behavior a bit and will maximize her evasion. When you hit Latias, her evasion drops. But if you miss, her evasion raises. You should use moves that hit accurately in order to counter that. Before jumping into team assembly, we should talk about the fairy mission. The most accessible fairy types include Valerie, who is a free-to-play story sync pair, Mina, who is a 3-star gacha, and Sycamore, who is a limited legendary sync pair. If you miss the Sycamore, the only alternatives are 5-star gachas, but they are all either poke fairs or seasonals. There was a fairy egg event back in March 2021, so you may not have any fairy type eggmons. It's likely you may be unable to complete this mission. For this reason, all free to play examples for this battle assume you have Sycamore. In this video, I will make use of him because I have to. However, I will show an alternative example that covers Gym Leader and Kalos theme skills, which is the next best thing we can do. For this fight, Fairy Type and Dragon Type Strikers are recommended. Techs with a wide variety of debuffs make Latias much easier to handle. Tanks with impervious and defensive omnibuffs are preferable. Alright, for this first example, we are going to do a standard free-to-play clear. But the sync pairs I am bringing are very specific, because we are trying to cover Latias' is event missions at the same time. The first team wants to debuff Latias as much as possible. So here we have Viola, Oak and Min. Viola covers a Kalos and Gym Leader theme skill, while Mina covers a Fairy theme skill. Oak is a freebie slot, and you can exchange him for whomever you want. Viola is a good tank. She can raise her special defense, regenerate health, and debuff a special attack with a struggle bug. She can also spread a trap with infestation to stack some recoil damage on Latias. Mina can debuff attack with charm, and Oak can debuff any stat at random with Unfortuitous 9. What you want to do is debuff Latias' is attack and a special attack to minus 6. You also wanted to debuff Flygon to minus 6 attack because it hits fairly hard. Besides that, you don't need any heavy investment in these units. As long as you apply most of your debuffs before fainting, you should be fine. 
For the second and final team, we're going to set up a Striker Sycamore endgame. Basically, Sycamore with crit support is unkillable. He recovers a ton of health with Horn Leech, and he can deal unironically good damage once Latias gains her Fairy Weakness. Sycamore wants to run Impervious and Horn Leech Master Healer titles. Impervious is critically important to block Latias' attempts at debuffing the party. Besides that, Sycamore also needs Fairy and Kalos team skills to help with the event missions. Valerie is here purely for team skill requisites. She fulfills all three conditions, but because she is a fairy type sync pair, she can help with some additional DPS. Now, the tier the slot is trickier. Both Sycamore and Valerie need crit support, but you also have to fulfill a gym leader team skill to complete the event missions. That thins out our options. Meilin is the most accessible sync pair who meets this criteria, but you can use BP Surge, Event Boxy, Sabrina, Faulkner, or Pierce instead. The battle itself is very simple. First thing you want to do is sync with Sycamore for his Geomancy boosts and uh, then take out the sides as soon as possible. Because we stack the debuffs with the previous team, we can focus on survival. An amazing perk of this team is that all three sync pairs have draining moves. If you are low health, you can click Horn Leech, Draining Kiss and Drain Punch respectively. Furthermore, Sycamore and Meilin can keep debuffing. Moonblast has a 30% chance to debuff a special attack, while Rock Smash has a 50% chance to debuff defense, so that will keep Latias is star races in check. Once you take out the sides, you want Meilin to focus all her attention on debuffing with Rock Smash. Something I glossed over is that the more debuffs Latias has, the weaker she becomes. So, you would do well to stack all the debuffs you can. When you reach the second hell bar, Latias will start her evasion shenanigans. Here, you want to use Disarming Voice with Valerie, because this move cannot miss, and it will proc Gemini 9 to drop Latias' evasion. At this point, Latias also gains her fairy weakness, and Sycamore will decimate her with Moonblast. On the third hellbar, Latias opens with a sure crit earthquake. This attack is incredibly likely to drop Sylvian Dev. Mines didn't because it's heavily invested. It's at 5 stars, and I also maxed out my theme skills. But Sycamore can close down the battle without breaking a sweat, so that doesn't matter much. Anyway, yeah, this is free with Sycamore. For the second example, I want to show a routine clear. Here, we are assuming you started playing after second anniversary, which means you missed a whole host of legendary sync pairs. But it also means you probably played through the Poison and Ghost Egg event. So I want you to go check your Egg Nursery and see if you hatched one of these, a Tech Coffin. You don't need it to raise it at all, we just want access to Poison Gas. I want to debuff Latias using Venom Drench. It's a potent AoE debuffing move, but in order to cast it, the enemy needs it to be afflicted with poison. Latias opens the fight with Safeguard, which prevents status conditions from affecting the enemy. This is why I suggest using Poison Gas, because it's an AoE move. It's 90% accurate, and you can quickly apply poison with it. If you don't have a tech coffin, you can attempt to land poison regularly with Koga, Lucy, or BP Erika. 
Yanin here covers uh, the Venom Drench slot, and uh, Hapu helps uh, with additional debuffs. Hapu can lower accuracy with Mod Slap, which is uh, a separate category from what uh, Venom Drench covers. Hapu is likely to faint quickly, but we are looking to neutralize Latias' accuracy buffs. Minus 40 buffs will work fine. Alright, for the main team, I want you to go fetch your best striker. It doesn't matter who they are. I am using Signature Red as an example because 80% of players have Signature Red. <laughs> he is the most global striker there is. But case in point, Venom Drench set up the field of play for the remainder of the fight, and we can bring whatever we want to defeat Latias. If you are playing on a budget, I recommend using your best striker alongside Skyla and Misty. These two are the OG supports, and they form a very potent defensive core. You don't need an advanced grid for either of them. I recommend getting MPRs for the trainer moves, but you can maybe push for a grid that's clear. Misty can tank Gladius fairly comfortably when backed up by regeneration and potion. Skyla buffs speed to generate move gauge, and with the offensive debuffs we applied earlier, this should be a piece of cake. Signature Red goes brrrr, I don't feel I need to explain much here. On the second health bar, you can use Aerial Ace to proc Hemdin on Latias. Aerial Ace cannot miss, so it helps in that regard. Signature Red also has a Piercing Gaze, and he's got a lot of play in this match. Now, when you reach Latias' final hit points, you want to intentionally lose, because we still have to bring Kalos' theme skills to complete the event mission. This is a friendly reminder to turn off the auto switch setting. If you leave Latias with little health to spare, you may attack automatically and knock her out on accident. Last but not least, we have some Kalos scrubs to complete the event mission. Between Skyla, Misty, and Janine, you also have the gym leader mission covered as well. Anyway, Valerie here functions as our striker. We just have to avoid her enough time to do her job. Wickstrom makes for a competent tank. He can block damage with King's Shield to avoid you some extra turns. Viola can raise a special defense and debuff a special attack with a struggle bug, and Latias is only using special moves at this point. But perhaps more importantly, she can apply trap with infestation. That extra recoil damage can come in really clutch when closing down this fight. Lastly, Valerie deals super effective damage and can sustain herself with draining keys. Between these three, I think you should be okay. Honestly, Latias had a lot more health than she should have in this closing attempt, but these three worked through that just fine. But uh, well, that's everything I can say regarding Latias. If you have any questions about uh, how to approach uh, team building for this uh, match, uh, let me know as a comment, and me or another person will gladly help you out. But uh, with that, uh, I shall be taking my leave. Thank you for watching, take care, and uh, I hope to see you another time.